Okay, so today we're going to be using double recharge nurse with bamboozle, brutal strength, enduring, and fury in public games, aka battle nurse. And it's just going to be a gameplay video. I'm going to show you as much as I can from each game. And we're just going to see how it goes. Boys, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season with whatever you celebrate. I hope you get whatever you want. And I hope you have a wonderful time with your family or whatever you choose to do. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And as a little festive treat for the survivors, we're going to be playing a meme build in pubs. Just to give them that little bit more of a chance. So without any more hesitation, let's get straight into the games. Okay, so we loaded in on the Thompson house. Not a bad map for Nurse whatsoever. It's pretty generous on the gen slits normally. Like right here, if I wanted to, I could play a pretty nasty 3 gen. Okay, not on this gen. Interesting. They must have literally tripled that or quartered that even. They did that so quick. Okay, we're trailing the game already. One hit. We'll go for the Zarina now, just to try and get her injured. I could probably play for the down here. I might be able to take Shack Pallet too. Interesting. I didn't expect that kind of pathing. She's just doubling back consistently. Like, as soon as I let myself fatigue, I get the down. And it's looking like that gen was only a double up, so they must have gone on it literally as soon as they spawned in. Maybe this one in the far corner here then. Yeah. They've probably gone around the back of the hill. Or they were the people that went for save, actually. That could be a thing as well. No, right here. Okay. This will have been the fang on the gen, I assume. That means we have two people on the hook right now. Or by the hook. We have this Fang who's about to be hooked. And we actively, I think at the moment, have nobody on a gen. So that's good, very good for us. There's somebody right here. That's came for save straight away. That's perfect. Because that's just going to give us a lot of pressure. Especially that she didn't actually go for the save. Okay, the lorry is dead hard. We'll take a mental note of that. That's fine. Is there anybody on this gen? I don't think so. Okay, we'll hook the lorry. They've got save on the Fang. That's fine. See, I have no gen slowdown at all. Or tracking. And that's what makes this build hard. Is I have essentially nothing to speed the game up for me or slow the game down for them. Unless I'm gonna Spirit Fury a power. She's trying to body block, so I'll give her the BT hit. And then she can leave, and I'll just take the second hook on this arena. It's fine by me. The lorry is ascended. She obviously has DS. Otherwise, why would you do that? She has DS. I'll let her hook trade. And I'll just get another hook on the lorry. Doesn't have DS. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to put her on this hill. Because this gen has progression. And then we can kick it. And then we know that it will be regressing until she gets saved. Oh, there was a survivor right here. This is the Fang again. So there's just one survivor that I haven't seen the entire game. So I'll take the tag on the Feng. Where's the Feng going to path? Feng is going to go around the main. She's going to take the hill. So I'll go up. Nice. We got a down dropping on top of her there. And I hear the last survivor up here in main building. So this should be game over. I haven't seen the Cheryl literally all game. She must have been hiding for the genuine entire game. I'm going to give Hatch to the Feng. I don't think the Cheryl really deserves it when I haven't seen her all game. I assume she's been looting chests or something. Yeah, that's looting chests. And then she DCs. That's fine. But because I'm in the Christmas spirit, feeling like giving, I'll go and give this Feng a free escape on the house. Nice. Okay, so the Pale Rose. Bit of a dodgy map for Nurse again, but it's okay. I'm sure we can make it work with a little bit of elbow grease. And extreme nurse sweat. We should be fine. I'll go straight over to the survivor spawns on this map. Which, because the main building... Oh. Yeah, the main building hasn't been triggered. So should be around this corner somewhere. Yep, there we go. See the survivor straight away. Cheeky fatigue cancel. We should be able to get a hit. Oh, she actually went the entire way around the hill. I didn't expect that. Or well, the tree, even. Alf. Mate. Nice little flick, I'll take it. 
And where are we going now, Nia? Double back. Double, double back. There's a lot of double, double backers out at the moment. I've realised that. I mean, maybe I should make a video myself on how to play against Nurse. Because this double, double backing, it ain't it. It ain't it. That's all I can say is the double, double backing ain't it. Unlucky, Kate. Almost, almost. Okay, I see somebody on that gen right there. I didn't expect that. That's why I hooked so close. So hopefully I can get a tag. And then we can regress. Start getting that. Regressing with Brutal Strength. Interesting. I didn't expect that kind of pathing, but... It's all good. How are you playing this, Nia? Very, very late. That hard, but she has it. That's good to know for the rest of the game. That gen's about to pop, so we're going to lose two gens here. Okay, we've got two people on the hook right now. Take that. Three people injured, two people are on the hook. So, actively right now, there's nobody doing anything. But that Nia most likely will go back to her gen and get it popped. So, I'm expecting to go down to three gens here. I'm not too worried about the initial gem rush here. Because, as you know, if gens are popped early in the game, they're normally all popped in one area. And they not tend to be on the outskirts of the map. So, as you can see now, my gen cluster of all the gens remaining are a lot closer to each other. So it just makes my late game, it's going to be much easier to control these gens. So I'm not too worried about them getting gens off early at all. I'm going to have a quick look around, see if there's anybody right here. I don't see anyone, so I'm just going to pick. We'll put the bill on the same hook as the Nia, so she can share any diseases that they may have had. Right there. Caught that reset location. So this should be game over. Unless the Nia is able to spin at 1 million miles per hour. I didn't quite account for that. I mean, interesting movement, what can I say? But we're fine. Kind of fucked up the first blink, but we saved it with the second one, so it's fine. That somehow hits the bill, I have no idea how. Can one of you drop a pallet for me so I can use my Spirit Fury, please? Hello, Bill, mate. Well, destroyed by the invisible wall of the basement stairs. I can't complain. There we go. Ooh, the clicky clicky too. Okay, Bill. Is this what you wanted, Bill? You're dead hard if you're clicky clicky. Your DS into your clicky clicky into your dead hard into a down. Beard unfortunate. Okay, they're on this gen right here. So I can get quick pressure. Get her down. I'm gonna brutal strength this gen. Get it regressing. And we're gonna go quickly for this Neo right here. There we go. And I would hook here, but he's literally so close. I have no reason not to just put him on the floor. Is PT, are you going to run away or are you going to try pick up? Going to try pick up. So he puts me in a situation where I just need to end the game instead of hooking. And GG, man. What did I say? I told you the double doubling back was not it. Fuck yeah, I didn't expect that, did you? <laughs> I love this build, man. Oh, nobody expects the Fury Nurse. <laughs> Okay, Wrecker's Yard, not a bad map for Nurse at all. Have to say that at the start of every game. I have to tell you that the map isn't bad, apparently. I don't know why I say that at the start of every game, but I'm just so used to it at this point. That I have to tell you what I think of every single map as we load in. This is somebody that spawned over here because of the crow, and I wasn't wrong. I heard somebody cracking a totem. I actually managed to flick to that just off of hearing the totem crack. Pretty proud of myself. Damn, I actually got a swing cancel there, otherwise I would have got her. That's for shining. If I swung as soon as I came out of the blink there, I would have just caught her, I think. Well, we get her here now anyway, so it's not too bad. There's somebody on this gen. I'm just going to push them off quickly. Try and get a tag. Interesting. I think I blinked literally on top of her, so she just walked through me. I am, I'm going to get this tag whether you like it or not, Feng. I'm sorry to tell you. Okay, I'm just going to play this early game for tags now. Because I've already got two and I'm on a new survivor. So I might as well. Interesting double back. I would rather she stun me with the pallet with this build, but that's fine. 
Doesn't seem like anybody ever wants to summon me with a pallet when I'm running this build. Okay, she's got unique pathing, so I do actually need to concentrate in this chase. She's not playing like a moron. There's a few survivors now that aren't playing stupid. I say that as she comes out of a locker. So I do actually have to keep my eyes open. She's also running Iron Wall, which makes it harder, but we should get the down here. Perfect. She didn't get the pallet stun off either. They got two gems, which I don't know if it's deserved, but running this build, I guess it's kind of expected that they're going to get gems quickly. I mean, I got it, but dedicated servers said no, so not a whole lot I can do. Get a tag there. Another Jake that doesn't want to use a pallet on me. There we go. Not quite what you want to do against the nice Jake, but it is what it is. Get rid of this pallet for you, don't you worry, son. Should be able to get this hit here. Nice. We get the hit. Oh, dude, if I got a fatigue cancel, I would have got that hit. That's so sad. Now what are we doing, Feng? I just want to break the pallet, man. The game won't let me. I know she went right there. That time we get it. And now I have my Fury up for the first game in a little while. Because they've done gen so quick, I'm in a situation where I kind of just need to get all pressure that I can. And because this Feng is in a dead zone, I have no reason not to at least tag her. I probably will just play for the down though, because she's just running into another dead zone. So I'm more than happy to take this chase. Perfect. They picked the other Feng up, or she had Unbreakable. I did see the Kate picking this Feng up, so it wasn't an Unbreakable play. I don't see anybody going for save. I'll check this gen. Oh, they did go for save. They just went for a, a weird bit of pathing to get to it. That's fine. Get a tag on the Kate. Get a tag on the Jake. Get a down on the Jake. Damn, I actually kind of wanted her to get that pallet off on me just so I could use my Spirit Fury, but it's fine. We'll take the hook. I oh, it's not that hook. It's not even second state. Okay, we'll fatigue here because she's obviously going to do the vault back. I'll come back to hook because I see two of them bombing it. Uh, I will get this down. That's fine. And I will take my hook. I'll let them get saved. You're really trying here, Jay, can't we? Dead hard, okay. You're gonna go for save still? I'm gonna get this down. I have more value in getting a down on the Jake. She's gonna wiggle off, probably, but that was worth it. Nope, and I get the hook. Wow. That's such a high value play. And I can probably down you. No, you have BT, that's fine. I can down you, though. You have nothing to save you, Fang. Nothing at all. Okay, and I'll hook this... Oh, no, I see her going for save. So I'll go and put her down. And we should be able to end the game right here. Oh, she does have BT. She can pick someone up. Oh, the Jake press sprint. I'm going to give this Feng Hatch. She used pallets on me. It was a fun game. I'll reward her for that. I'll reward her for that. Okay, let's see if she uses the... She did. Do you like my Spirit Fury, Feng? Do you like my Spirit Fury? That is my question. Okay, Shelter Woods. Again, not a very good map for Nurse at all. Pretty cluttered and pretty big. But we'll see what we can do with the OP Battle Nurse build. Kate, find the Kate straight away. Kate not really looking behind her, but she has Sprint Burst. So she's made a fair bit of distance already. Interesting pathing, very interesting. I like it. She's going straight to the tree. Are you going to go for a double back attempt? She is actually using the tree stomp too. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, we get that down. I think I may have heard them on that mid gen. What I'm going to do is quickly snag my basement hook. Well, they were on that gen as I thought. They even popped it somehow. And now I actually have three gems right next to the basement. Nice one. 
see the Feng lined up for the flashlight save. Tag one. Where are you gonna go now, Feng? In. Even though she had her life, I waited for a second there so I could actually flick to it. What we're gonna do is throw her in the basement. Right now, because they pop gems so early, this is what happens with survivors. If you do pop gens early, that's absolutely fine. You're getting gens off the board. But the only problem is, is that you're making that you have one side of the map where there are no gens on. And right now, I have a hook and I have no reason to ever leave this side because I've got three gens so close to my hook. Oh wow, she was so loud. Very unique pathing from this K as we learned from the first chase. I'm not going to chase her over there because it's not an area of interest for me. Just going to watch my gens. That's fine. And what are we going to do now, Steve? The hitbox is still bugged on Shaq. So it's very interesting. It's been there for a few updates now and it's still bugged. Okay, they've given us two hooks in the basement, so I'll take it. Also gave me a stack for Spirit Fury, so I'll take that too. This Feng will probably die on this hook, to be honest. Because I have no reason to allow them a save when they've just went up and popped four gems. His timing was a little bit late, and let's see if we can get the Steve down. I think Steve is going to go straight out the door, yep. Perfect, he's on the floor. Just make sure I'll get some tag pressure, if nothing else, out of the basement. I'll give this guy the BT hit that he so desperately wants. And now the best survivor to hook for me is the Steve. They both have to uh, mend before they can do anything meaningful. So that's fine. The wonderful pallet hitbox on the new ma newer maps. Get the Steve down and we can put the Steve on the same hook as the Kate. So they can share any diseases that they may have. She's aggroing the gen as soon as she mends. That's fine. She's not going to get it off. I'm going to go and take distance here. Because, yeah, I assume she did. Nice. She's going to play for the DS. That's fine. I'm going to take it. Always aggro DS. Every single time I aggro DS, I'll take your DS. We'll take it out of the game. And then you won't have that perk for protecting you anymore. Unlucky Steve. I don't think I've already took his DS. So, I'm just going to leave him on the floor. And we'll go for the Dwight. The fact that he came for flashlight save, though, makes me think I'm free to hook the Steve. But I'll go for the Dwight, because if he does have DS, it will be ticking down. And then I have a feeling I know how this Kate is going to play, and that's very aggressive. And she will have got back on this gen. Yep. Good pathing with the sprint burst. But there's not a whole lot they can do to stop the end of this game now, unless one of them has Unbreakable. Okay, boys, that will be all. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do consider it. If you did enjoy the content, I would really appreciate it. Once again, I wish you all a very, very happy holiday season. Hope you guys are doing amazing. And if you are in work, I hope I could give you something to take up a little bit of time. Or just, if you have nothing to do over the holidays, just something that will take a bit of your time. And maybe you could get some enjoyment out of. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your holiday season. And I hope you have a good one. Cheers, boys. Appreciate it.